two good okay. rights in the exam, na? So I directed you one mark, so you didn't write the reason. Now, the fourth one also you wrote it. This is parallel. How? Where? What? So again, one mark you lost here. In this scenario also, A you got sixty, correct? That's correct. But what is the C? If this is sixty, then your C should also be sixty, na? Here you wrote sixty, but here you are writing one twenty. What is this? Ma'am, I accidentally. Hmm. So here also you lost marks. So this is how you lost marks, and you got sixty. Okay. So I need you to revisit this concept, learn all the properties, so that you should know. If you are writing that y is equals to a, so you should know that y is a equals to b. There will be reason that they are the diagonals of a uh, rectangle. They are uh, if um a b is par a equals to b c, then the reason would be they are the par. It's a parallelogram. In parallelogram, basically, both its sides are parallel and equal like this. So just revisit the concept. The comments also I have added it like this, but I want you did it right. But the silly mistake you lost one more marks in each question and you lost four marks this way. So clear? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Ibrahim Martin also. Uh, Ibrahim Martin, I was checking your paper and I really got disappointed. Uh, I don't know whether you were there when I was teaching this concept, but you really need to revisit this. First one was correct, so you got full marks. The second one over here, you can see the question paper was this. So in this scenario, this is going to be equal to this one, na, because it's a rectangle and the diagonals of rectangle bisect each other, and they are equal. It's for Ibrahim Martin or for Ibrahim Jamal. This one, yeah, in Ibrahim Martin only. Yes, Ibrahim. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So you need to compare it the way this, right? The same mistake. This one I already discussed in the class. On all the questions was the were the question that I gave in the class. So I expect good marks from you people. So it really disappoints me once you don't score. So here you will compare it, and then once you compare, you will get the value of x three. Clear? In the next question also, you write it this. But read the question. The question says that you have to find x, y, z. You only got x, y, and x. What about z? I forgot, ma'am. Yes. Hmm. L F. Can you see? He has written the reason. Yes, ma'am. This is what I'm asking. You lost marks because you didn't wrote reasons. Then in this also he wrote reason and that's why he got full marks. In this one also, in this one you missed reason. Ibrahim. So that's why you lost half marks. Okay. So you would have scored good marks, but you lost four marks straight away here. So be careful. Okay. I got a bit confusion there. Huh. So whenever these type of questions comes now, where you have to find something, just remember one thing: they would be equal, and you need to compare it. Right. So for this, you people need to revisit the properties. That for example, rectangle. What are the properties of rectangle, and what property we can use in question paper? What are the properties of parallelogram? Like, uh, you know, every question they ask for property, right? Here also, like in this question also, you would have written the reason that adjacent side of a parallelogram, the sum of edges. You are you were writing it, but you I don't know why you stopped. The sum of adjacent angle is one eighty, so you have to revisit the property. Clear? And it's like you did really well in all the portions. Just you lost four marks, and it's like coming a low. So I don't want that because you really respond well, and I really because if I'm teaching you people, I'm expecting that I make sure that each and every question is crystal clear to you people. So when I see the students that are responding in the class and they don't score well, it feels bad. Okay, so avoid these mistakes, and whenever these questions comes. And you, I think everybody gets the slippers few days back, right? So if you got the slippers, just go through all the things whatever we did in the class. I never give questions out of the box. It is whatever we did in the class, right? I never give any question. It's like out of the box. So I expect if I taught you something, I expect that you people do it. Okay. 
Okay, Alif and Ibrahim. Yes. Hmm. Alif did all the question on why he scored less because everywhere he don't wrote, wrote the reason. How would I get to know that y is equal to 80 degree? How? Right? So you have to mention it. Then ma'am, y is equal to this. The reason is this. Then whenever from this question, this chapter students, do one thing. Do make diagrams. Okay? You have to make diagrams. Clear? If you fail to, because sometimes for teacher it's very difficult to again go to the question paper and check it. So, it's better to draw the diagrams. Clear? Ma'am, in square hmm? and square, there are, there are diagrams? Uh, yeah, the diagrams I have mentioned. I already drew it, na, so you need to make it. I'll show you the answer sheets of some students. Uh, they are from other batch, basically, not from your class. You can see this. I'm not asking you to write the question questions, but look at the presentation. Everything is very much crystal here. Right? Can you see it? Yes. yes. So, if I check this question paper, everything is here in the question paper. I even don't saw the question paper. I'm not asking you to write the question. I'm only asking you if I have in the question paper, I've made diagrams. Here I can manage. I don't have any issues. But in your school papers, if the diagram is mentioned, you have to do. You can see the way she has presented the answer. Neat and clean. Even teachers feel like that. Okay. Very good. I myself feel like that. Okay, wow. She has done a great job. Right? The key. You can see it on your own. Yes or no? Yes, I'm not asking you to use this pencil color and all that. But I'm only asking you just write question number one and leave some space. Make it very presentable. Okay? Okay, I think I have given enough of this. Okay, as a teacher, you tell me. You really like that answer sheet or not? If you were a teacher, uh, you, know, you, all, you, would, you, would also, you would have also felt like very nice presentation. Ma'am, I am lower than that mark. Huh? I am below average. I am below only I, I am top. Hmm. I know that. You people, it was fine. But the only thing is that I need diagrams. Okay. And learning view, the best part is that in learning view, you get one week to complete the test. You can choose any day. So choose that day which you are available. And even if, like, for example, you got a syllabus and every Tuesday they post the question paper. And you have four or five days to complete it. Right? So choose that day and you got the syllabus, just revise it. Why I'm taking tests? Because I want you people to make things crystal clear. That's why I'm teaching you, na? So, you have to perform well. Okay? And I know that you people know the things. So, it feels more bad that you know the things, but still, why you are not doing that? So, because over there, just by looking at the answer sheet, what will be the feedback? They scored this. So, that means they are not the good student. But I know that you people are good student. You people respond in the class. So, I don't want anyone to point you out that they are not performing well or something. I always want good remark from your school, from your parents, everywhere. Fine? It's not for only LF and Abraham. It's for everybody in the class. Clear? No? Yes, ma'am. Okay, only Ibrahim is okay. What about others? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this one, factorization, you people were doing it or we were done? Uh, ma'am, I am ma also doing it. Okay, so I'll wait for two more minutes. Those who were unable to finish it in the last class, do it and then we'll discuss one by one. Okay? Clear to everybody? Okay, because today we need to start a very interesting thing. Okay, so be prepared for it. So quickly do this and then the second half we will do the we will do the those yeah. questions like find yeah. the smallest number which can be divisible and all that. So be prepared for this.
and i have a doubt in the sixth one Okay, six. Which one? Man, I had out in the sixth one. Tell me where you are not getting the things. Uh, hmm? four eight zero two nine six four. Uh, nine six zero four. Wait, 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 wait. Sixth one. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, tell me. Uh, four eight. Zero two mm -hmm. two four zero one correct three four three uh -huh. two eight nine after three four three what you got two eight nine how um, three four three divided with seven I divided man with seven. I divided. Yeah, with seven? With seven. So you should get 49. How you are getting 2, 4, 3, something. 3, 4, 3, you will divide with 7. So it's very obvious. Uh, 4 is a 28 and the rest is 63. 9 is a 63. That is good, ma'am. That's it. And then 7, 7 is a 49. Yeah, yes, ma'am.
ma'am i heard out in the uh... sorry i didn't get it he, uh, can you please pardon ma'am uh, i have doubt in the 821 821 ha tell me uh, 468 ah this is what i told ibrahim in the last class only na 4608 i solved it here also lf screen can you see it when we keep a number below and it is not divisible by this number, we put zero. Fine? Uh, yes, Okay, others, two people finished. LF, Rida, Abdullah, Ibrahim, Aisha finished. Ma'am, no, I did. No, ma'am. Okay, okay. Quickly do it, quickly, quickly. Ma'am, uh, hmm? after uh, 4608, hmm? 2304, huh? 1107. Uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. No, this is wrong. Check it. Okay. Ma'am, 1152. Uh, yes, now it's right. Uh, then... Hmm. Uh, I uh, divide by three. No. No, no, no. One, one, five, two. You can divide it by two. Those who are having difficulty in any question, you can cross check with me like this only. Okay. It's not only for LF, it's for everybody. If you are stuck in any question, just ask me, ma'am. That's the issue. Okay.
Ma'am, I have doubt in the ninth one. Hmm. Tell me. Uh, we yeah, we yeah. five to nine. How uh, in which number I it could divide? Seven is not uh, okay. applicable. Three is not applicable. <laughs> Anyone who did ninth one? Ma'am, I did. Ha, huh, tell me. Ma'am, I did with seven. You did it with seven. Five to nine. How else? Tell me seven. Oh. Ma'am, I did. It gives Ma us decimal points. Ma'am, I thought points. it was the uh, 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 sixth, uh, seventh one. Is it possible seven table? I don't think so. No, ma'am. Ma'am, I thought it you were talking about the seventh one. Decimals. No, no, ninth one, ninth one. Oh. Ma'am, I did it with 23. Uh, yes. Who said that? Aisha? Yes. Yes. So, the only number which is possible here is 23. Okay. Of course, they'll not give you these type of questions. Don't worry. They'll give you the question till 20 only. But, you know, sometimes you get a bounce of questions. So, don't worry about it. But, yeah, you will divide it. With, this is the square of 22. Square is 5 to 9. Ma'am, can you show the solution of the ninth one? Ninth one. Five two nine. Right? Clear? I told you it's for twenty three, right? So twenty three, twenty three is a five two nine. So twenty three one. Okay. Ma'am, then 23 is the answer, right? Yes. I'm in 10 to 1. Um, I'm not getting it. Hmm, where you are stuck? Can someone tell me where you are stuck? Uh -huh, tell me, Alec, what happened? Yeah. Uh, 8,100. I divide by 2. Uh -huh. I got 
फोर जीरो फाइव जीरो ओके मैम मैम लास्ट वन इज नॉन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर राइट लास्ट वन नो इट इज Every number in this is a perfect square. That's why they are asking you to find the square root. In this, they are they are not asking you whether it is or not. They are asking you they are, and you have to find the square root. Okay. And uh, I can't find it. Uh, you can't find it. Hmm. Why? I uh, four zero five zero two zero two five. Then I divide with uh no. The two zero two five divided with three, mm -hmm. I got six seven five. Mm -hmm. I divided with five, I got uh three ah, one three five. Ah, here you made a mistake. Not six seven five. You will further divide it with three. It is possible. Three two just six, then seven, then three two just six, then one get get there. Three five just fifteen. Here you did the mistake. Okay, six seventy five. You will divide with three. Okay.
Now you got it or not? I got Okay, students, I would like you to show something. Uh, Aisha is here in the class. I just saw this, her assignment. And you can see the way she has presented the things. It's a homework assignment. Yes? You can see it? Yes? Aisha, very good. Okay, neat and clean and everything is very nice. Okay? This is how you need to present the things, everybody. Okay, because you are in 8th grade, 9th and 10th, it's your board. So, you have to start preparing from itself, the presentation. Okay, good, Aisha. Thank you, ma'am. Everybody finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay, should Legends speak the answers quickly now? Yes? <laughs> okay, anyone who's still there doing any want me to wait? I didn't get yes, no from anybody. You want me to wait or should I discuss the answers now? Let us quickly discuss the answer, students. Okay, one by one, I'll ask you. Let us start from the 10th one. Okay, you people will get confused. So, let us start from the first one itself. Hmm, first one, LF, tell me what you got. Ma'am, first or last? 10th one. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. I'll tell you the answer only. The square root of 729 is a square root of 27. Yes. Everybody got 27? See, if any question is wrong for you people, you will let me know and I'll solve that. Clear? 
Everybody clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Second one, Ibrahim. Martin. Ibrahim Martin, what do you got for the second one? Ibrahim Martin, am I audible? Am I audible to others? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, then Ibrahim Jamal, can you hear me? Both the Ibrahim, anyone of you can hear me? Oh, oh. Abdullah, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. It's? Ma'am, I'm having some... 20. Yes, 20. Okay, okay. Uh, Ibrahim Martin, write the answer for the fourth one in the chat box. Okay? The fourth one. Okay, third one, Aisha, you tell me. 42. Yes, everybody got 42? Okay, now the fourth one, uh, I'm waiting, Ibrahim, write it down. Fifth one, Rida. Fifth one, what do you got? Fifth one, 88. Yes, 88, everybody? Okay. Ma'am, I got 44. Huh? Okay, Fifth you got 44. One, I got 44. Fifth one. Fifth one, what do you got? Fifth one, 44. Huh? Fifth one or sixth one? Five, five, fifth. Five. Uh, how? I'll do it here. Have a look. Seven, seven, four, four. Right? So you start doing it from two table. Two table. Three, eight, seven, two. Yes? Everybody just cross check it. Two. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And then nine, six, eight, two. Yes, everybody. Ma'am, I now I got them. Now, how you got it? Uh, I didn't count the. And eleven twenty one is a square of eleven, so eleven and eleven and one. Let me count the. Okay, and over here it's like two. Here also two. Here also two. And here 11. So 2 multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 11. And the answer would be 18. Okay? 2 multiply by 2 is 4. 4 multiply by 2 is 8. 8 multiply by 11 is 88. Clear? Everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now I got it. Uh, yes. And for the fourth one, uh, Ibrahim said that he got 64. Okay. Everybody got 64? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'll write here 64. Okay. Uh, now the six. Uh, anyone who wants to note it down, should I erase this? Anyone who is noting it? No, I guess I no. I, no, ma'am. Okay. I'll erase it. Hmm. Sixth one, uh, I shot. Aisha, sixth one. What do you got? 98. Uh, seventh one, LF. Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, 77. Eighth one, uh, eighth one, Rida. Eighth one is hmm. Eighth one is ninety six. Yes, ninety six. Good. A uh, tenth one, Ibrahim Martin. Type it in the chat box. Tenth one. Ninth one, Ibrahim Jamal. Can you see, hear me? Ibrahim Jamal, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Ibrahim Jamal? What do you got for the ninth one? 
I can't hear you typing in the chat box if you have. I think I did it. It's very easy if you were attentive. The tenth one, I got the answer from Ibrahim Jam Martin. It's ninety. Tenth one is your ninety, and this one I did this twenty three. Yes. Hmm. Good. Ibrahim Jamal, I don't know whether you are getting these questions or not because I am not getting any um, from you today. Ma'am, tenth one, I got thirty. Okay, you got thirty. Okay, it's very obvious. Eighty one is a square of nine. I put zero, but I'll do it. Wait. Okay, I'll do it so that you'll have a better understanding. Eight one zero zero. Okay, everybody else, you will cross check it with me. Okay, even those who did it, just cross check. Ma'am, um, can I fill the seventh one? No, eighth one. Okay, okay, let me just do this one, then I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Four zero five zero. Yes. And two zero two five. Yes. Then three six seven five. Mom, after two zero two five, I did with five table. Ah, oh, that's why. Even if you did a five table, I know what you did. You did uh five four this forty five. Yes, ma'am. Ah, that's wrong. See two zero two five. What I told you people is. Hmm. Just multiply forty five with five. Are you getting two zero two five? Check it. Two zero two five. No, no. Ma'am, we have to put the... zero. For example, two zero two five. We are doing it five. Five fours are twenty. Then you got this two here, but it was not divisible by five, so you will put zero here. And then five here, five five is twenty five. So four zero five will come, not forty five. But here, of course, we have to start with the least one. And if you do five, and then after that you do somewhere with three, you your examiner will not give you marks. So it's better to first see whether it is divisible by this. It was very easy. Three twos are six, and three twos are six, and then three fives are fifteen. Yes or no? Two to five. Ma'am. Again, three table. Yes. Uh. Eight to one. Uh, just, uh, I left just a minute. Let me just finish this. I'm about to finish. Okay. okay. Clear this one now. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Yes, ma'am. So whenever you get a confusion, see the only thing that you need people uh, that you people need to learn is. If you are bringing any number down and that is less than the question, you cannot further divide it. You bought it, so he will charge you something, right? So you put, you need to put zero. And in case you are not sure about the answer, just multiply it. And if you are getting the same answer, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Alex. Now you tell me which one? Eighth one. Uh, uh ma'am, eighth one answer is ninety six, right? Eighth one. Wait a minute. I don't know. Let me check. What is in the eighth one? Yes, ninety six only. What happened? Uh, nothing. This week. Okay. Anyone has any doubt now? Ma'am, uh, can you tell the ninth one answer? Ninth one, I did. Abraham. Five twenty nine. No, I I just want the answer. Twenty three. Okay. So, 23. Okay. Okay. Now, let's just start with a next one. Okay. Uh, so, I did we did this question. Is 90 a perfect square? Okay. Now, this is a question. Is 90 a perfect square? So, 
through prime factorization you have to find. So if it is for one marker, you will just use that trick. But if it is for three marker, you need to show it. 90, do the prime factorization. If any pair is missing, then it is not a perfect square. If you get all the pairs, then it is a perfect square. So do it and tell me the answer whether it's a perfect square or not. Ma'am, it's not a perfect square. Okay, others? It's not, ma'am. Not a perfect square? Okay. It's not a perfect square. Yes. Because I'll do it with two table. Yes. So two, then. Okay, two table, I'll do it. How do you We get, huh? 45, yes, and 3 table, 3 ones are, and 3 fives are 15, then 3, 5, and 5, 1. So you can see only 3 has a pair, 2 and 5 don't have a pair, so it is not a perfect square. Fine with everybody? Ma'am, you can also check that there's an odd yeah. number of zeros. Yes, odd number of zeros, this one. So that's what I'm telling you. If it is for one mark, you will just check it. And write the statement that it consists of this. But for example, it, it this comes for three marks. Then you need to do it like this and then make it like this. And show it. Right? And the statement that you will be writing is that the prime factor 2 and 5 do not occur in pair. Right? The prime factor 2 and 5, 2 and 5 do not occur in pair. Pair. Therefore, 90 is not a perfect square. Clear? So, it depends on the marks. If one marker, then usually you say that there's an odd number of zeros, so it's not a perfect square. Right? But if it's for three marker, then you cannot just write a statement and expect full marks. So, you need to show it and just write it like this. Okay? Clear to everybody? Yes? Uh -huh. Or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, I wanted to start this today, but um, we don't have enough time, but let's get a hint. This is example number six. Okay. So, it says, is two, uh, three, five, two is a perfect square. If not, find the smallest multiple of this, which is a perfect square. So, whenever you have to find a perfect square, these type of questions come. First, you will do prime factorization of this. Through prime factorization, you will find it out whether it's a perfect square or not. So, everybody do this and tell me whether this is a perfect square or not.
Um, it's not a perfect square. Okay. Everybody, 